instantly it was just like old times. My old trusty axe had been lost a few months ago thanks to a jobs worth port customs officer. But almost as if Ash knew this, the axe in my hand was waiting for me here as a gift. Pre-tuned with the Pollard treatment and was sharp as a razor. We spent the morning putting a dent in the birch pile, chuckling at the cat slowly acclimatising to the new dog on the scene and enjoying the array of funny shaped logs. I'm going to split the cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> New toy. <laughs> but speaking of acclimatising, I still haven't found my feet. <laughs> the van won't be moving for a while, so I got it settled further into home mode. The barn is also completely off-grid, now Bjorn and Ingrid powered. So to take full advantage and keep everything topped up, the panels got tilted and cleaned. I think this afternoon we are gonna go and pop to retrieve a tree that a beaver's um, chopped down and uh, both mine and Ash's eyes lit up like ooh. <laughs> it's a very wood related day today but considering there's chainsawing involved I'm going to stick my new chainsaw trousers on I've never used them yet so yeah. <sighs> they're comfy oh. Oh, your oh, yeah. <laughs> Lots of funny man noises today. And our wood sourcing slash community service mission would be done on this. Fucking love that it's company colours. Lance was staying behind for this one, but he's in good company. I'm sure the pair of these have got some catching up to do too. The path was still blocked by snow, so we opted to leave the quad here and walk. Even though it's an ATV, you'll see why in a minute. We're good. I haven't used an electric one before. That did that story. Yeah, it's kind of doing. We're doing that. Oh, here we go again. Yeah. <laughs> it's proper gone, isn't it? Here we go again. <laughs> yeah, trying to put down the tree. Not me. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> oh, you <yeah. laughs> <laughs> uh, literally just about to say I'm going to go to that truck, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I'll make it. <sighs> Stay. And. Oh, oh, oh. I don't give it long before I'm down. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing this truck. Oh, Ooh, yeah. He's going to come here like who the f has been around my truck? Oh, really? Oh, his steps gone. Really? Oh, mate, take it. Oh, proper, man. Smells like old truck. Yeah, I see what you're saying about the, uh, the interior's a bit gone, isn't it? But what a beast. Got hydraulics. This is the ultimate resto project. Yeah, I love the patina on it. It's funny, it's like almost so identical colours in patina to that um, magic bus. Christopher McCandless and all that. What are they? It's one, two... Six leaf. Oh, yeah, there's two. Oh, I only saw the one. Jesus. I mean, God knows what I can. Mine's a, mine a three leaf and they're up to seven tons. 
yeah, this is carry the logs on this. Yeah, lots of work. I mean, I don't think you could even get it out at the minute. It's in the floor. Look at the air conditioning. Oh, it's got a. It's got the wobble seat. Oh, Mel, I can see you in this. The wheel is half up the steer the screen. <laughs> I'm not seeing any levers. Oh, what's this? Ho oh, ho! It's a what? even got a short person step. Oh, you could get this going, it's all complete, isn't it? You can tell he's worked on it yeah. recently. Yeah, yeah. I bet you any money, if he came down here, he'd just put a battery in it and fire up. Yeah. Mate, it's huge. And it's like one hell of an engine. <laughs> that's my engine there. Yeah. There's a whole other bit. <laughs> oh, she's well juiced in there. That looks bloody bang on. Really? He says it works. Yeah. I'm kind of inclined to believe him, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, yeah. I don't see a dipstick anywhere, but no, I don't. maybe it is a case of as you level. Yeah. <laughs> if it comes out, you've gone too far. Yeah. Oh, you need some rad juice. Put my van on the back of it. Mm hmm. It should be a cool ass <laughs> cabin with a crane. <laughs> <laughs> Just take the wheels off and weld it on. <laughs> Oh, there's the dipstick. Hmm? Dipstick down there. Oh, God, yeah. yeah. I wasn't looking that far down. <laughs> to be fair, like you say, it's complete. I bet it does just fly straight up. Big old non electric bollocks mechanical engine. I have oil and it doesn't look like cream. Mm. So. It's like my mate uh, Tim used to have a tractor, old 30s thing, and he had a tiny battery. Mm. But he park it up in the woods for winter, just take the battery. Mm. But then you come back, put the battery on, turn and it just fires straight back up. There's nothing to, you know. I wish my to that. <laughs> That's pretty heat mine in the summer. Oh. Bonnet's good, Nick. It's not actually that bad. It's not bad at all, really. It's got surface rust. It's almost sort of around the door hinge, maybe, but everything else, I'd just keep. Mm. Just preserve it. Keep it looking rat rotted. <laughs> Love the marker lights on the roof. Yeah. Very American. The grill, the yeah, marker lights, yeah. oh, it's yeah. got a lot of. Old American truck. Yeah, the big fucking fenders. Very good point, that'd be a gift for him. <laughs> Ooh, oh, please. Good like, even if you didn't drive it, generator. Big, big cool looking generator. Yeah. And a break room to keep warm. Put the heater on. Dude, you just need it. I'm going to be that devil on your shoulder. original yeah it's enough perving on rusty dead vehicles we're here for a reason we have to go where we didn't go before it wasn't far from here but it took a while yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you did it the tree in question beaver did one for me look perfect for my burner cheers beaver Still a little bit on it. 
It's pretty amazing what a beaver can do. I'd never seen their work in the flesh. They'd just chewed through this tree like Haribo. But unfortunately, they're also quite wasteful and destructive. They'll take an entire tree like this down and then only take the branches to probably go make a dam further down the river, which causes problems of its own. But the locals and Ash clean up their mess and take advantage of the free firewood. Luckily, this one seemingly fell the wrong way and didn't block the stream, which is what usually happens and causes floods. but we'd have to wait for this snow to disappear a bit more. So we'd come back later on down the line when some of this snow is gone with the tractor. I couldn't tell if Lance was pissed off that I'd left him or that he was in amongst his new animal friends and I was being that embarrassing dad figure. Oh God, stop being embarrassing and stroking my friend's head. After a spot of lunch, we hopped in the Mini Beast to go and explore some more of around the lake. We'd brought Lance along to make it up to him and give him a walk, but unfortunately his boyfriend had to stay behind as his legs just aren't up to these types of walks anymore. I think you want a new canopy. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? This one, you got a wheel, and look how it's so glitchy. You can't do it smooth at all. Have you, um, you still got it kept on 2.7? It is on 2.7, yeah. You haven't I, looked at any of the. I've not put it onto the laptop yet, no. but um, I will probably later on today. It does look just from here. It looks better. I noticed the difference a lot. It's a lot sharper. Yeah. They've got in a bit, yeah. Where are we going? Hey. That's the Gamma Gorton. You've got it almost on the day when it'll be gone. It's a new coat. Once again, this is as far as motorised vehicles will get us, so the rest is on foot. But beyond these trees, there was a multitude of hidden surprises for us. Oh, it's really weird feeling. Literally, most of my footage is just looking at the floor. Look what the floor's doing! My God! Is that a barbecue on a floating deck? Amazing. Thing Love it. Around Just float around barbecue. The best thing we had, we were on the top lake. Big, no, it's the same size as this. Yeah. We are in the fishing boat, you know, as you do, cracking on. Yeah. One of these, the motor on it, <laughs> just comes cruising by us in the middle of the lake. <laughs> Morning! <laughs> Hello! Ah, oh, that's incredible. And that one's probably seen better days. I was going to say, it's been a while, isn't it? Oh, yes. <laughs> That's exactly sort of how we want. Yeah. Gonna have a nosy, see what's what. Perfect, he's even got bog roll. Last winter we uh, skied out here in early March, as it was. Yeah. Ski across the lake, and it was full moon, and stuff, I think. Moonlight ski, and then barbecue. Oh! About 11 o'clock at night, isn't it? Perfect. Still sort of light. Well, the, the full moon in winter is basically daylight because of the snow. Jeez. Oh, yeah, yeah. Back. This is nice. We've got it. Have a look. Really? 1872. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If I can get to it. Oh, it smells old. 
There's beds up here. Wow. I mean, I won't go any further. Oh shit. I can see you through the floor. Yeah. Oh, I can see the birch bark in the room. <laughs> <laughs> So cool, you can just see how it's all put together. Yeah. This is what I love about the houses here. Yeah. They last. That's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Inspiring me, but I know I'm too f lazy to do stuff like that. Yeah, Are you into the water now? Oh, there's still oh, it's below that. We'd done this the other day over the other side, but we were still basically on shore. Now we were fully out over the water and could see the weirdness within. There's actually two layers of ice with the frozen lake, separated by about 20 centimetres of water. Something I found out by falling through the first layer and shitting my pants. Lance, on the other hand, not bothered. I doubt he can even comprehend what he stood on. What's even weirder though is once the bottom layer melts to a certain point, it'll break away and lift, pushing the vast quantities of melted water over the shore. And it's at that point that the ice will start to really melt down and it'll become water again. And of course we bought provisions. We must have stood here for an hour, chatting away, watching the sun go down and just taking it all in. The camera really isn't doing this for you justice. It was breathtaking. With the hole in the ice, we set about seeing if you could see the two layers. And luckily my camera just so happens to be waterproof. The result was insane, showing just how thick the bottom layer of ice is. Between us two, the conversation often shifted to nerding out about cameras and all sorts of video stuff, which fueled me up to actually make a start on this video project once back. That, however, wasn't happening. I thought I'd get back from the lake and I'd just smash into this because I got some enthusiasm from from talking video stuff with Ash. The, the process of making videos I find enjoyable. But more so, the reason I started videos is because it gave me an outlet socially and creatively where in the real world I'm just not I'm not good at that. You should trust me, you have a conversation with me in real life. Oh, I'm just the most awkward, fumbling person. But for some reason, five years ago when I started just plopping silly videos together, I realised when it's just me and this lens, I can be me. I can express myself and I can get my words out. And even if I don't, even if I fumble my words, it doesn't matter, there's no one here and I can just say it again and clip the bad bit out. But with that come 
trade-offs that I never saw coming. Like, I am massively self-deprecating. I don't mind taking the piss out of myself. Most of the videos are me taking the piss out of myself and making jokes about things, but it very rarely comes to me as a joke. It's, it's the voice in the head just drilling in. And um, to make jokes of that was a coping mechanism. And it did help, um, it, was, it was a big help, you know, just to laugh off your dark thoughts worked. The problem when you do that on public videos is that you open up to an audience of an amount you can't control. You know, however many audience members there are, all of a sudden there's that many voices. And that's not to say that is everyone's thoughts that watch that video, but the internals, that's how it spins it. And <clears throat> now it's got to a point where I'm second guessing all of this. I, I can't seem to, you know, I start to piece something together and then um, I just, it just doesn't, it's not gonna work. It's, I can't. I'm just second guessing everything. Um, I shouldn't even be on this. I shouldn't be thinking about work. I'm here. I should be enjoying myself while I'm here. This can be done at any given point. It's what I should be telling myself. There's some wood to chop. And yeah, we're going to have a bit of a night around the fire again. So. Why am I sat in front of you? The simple exertion of chopping up some firewood soon pulled me back around. Rather than dwelling on how I was going to start my little story, I was now focusing on clipping these logs straight through the middle, each one releasing that internal stranglehold. Once again, I'd forgotten my reasons for being out here. It's not to make a series of videos to entertain you. This is first and foremost for me be present, take in each experience and value it. Bow. <laughs> Bow. Bow. <laughs> this one's on um... San Andreas. No. Oh, it is. Okay then. This is a lesson that paid off massively later on into the night. Now I'm not really one to believe in signs from the universe, but had I have let myself drop into the fog and festered in the van trying to figure out work, well I'd have missed this. That's insane. See this getting on the boat? Yeah. Just. Fitting that the first and last time I saw the Aurora was with these guys, using the same DSLR that Ash gave me in Scotland on our road trip. At the time this felt exciting and we bounced around like little girls, and it was, but tonight kind of blew all that out of the water. I can now for sure take this off the bucket list.